What if you just let me talk and you didn't yell out any suggestions at all? Like, oh, this guy seems like he's pretty high. He might have, uh, he might have some shit to say. I don't understand most of that conspiracy stuff. That, treasure. That, that, treasure. Here we go. See, I was just saying I don't understand conspiracies, but that guy back there was like, I bet Doug Benson understands treasure. <laughs> Just the concept of treasure in general? <laughs> or are you trying to help me out, like throw me a softball, a uh, softball? That's, yeah, soft pitch, slow pitch, a layup. Are you throwing me a layup for treasure to get me? Because it'd probably be a fun, fun bit to end with the words, and that's why I ate the booty. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you get all suggestions, and I'll take your topic and just tell you the beginning and the end of the bit. And I'll just leave out, I'll leave out the guts. Why, why do we need to waste time with all that filler? Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne The Rock Johnson? As president. As president. As president. Okay, that's your full statement. <laughs> that's his full statement as to, at this time. Dwayne Rock as, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> As president, do you, he'll probably, he's already dropped The Rock, right? He's already just Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, I think he gets mad if you call him. He might come back as The Rock. If you call him The Rock, he stands really close to you and then flexes one peck so that it tweaks your nose. Yeah, so it doesn't hurt a lot, but it's, it's very embarrassing. Uh, for president, sure, next topic. <laughs> I mean, seriously, what could be better? I mean, you know, he's, uh, how old do you think he is? He's like 50, 48? Yeah. Yeah. He's old enough. yeah. Let's get a young fucker in there. Yeah. What is this old man shit that the presidency has become? Where you just sit around. Like, also, they have these old men, how do they make it through the whole thing? Can't we get one old man die in office? <laughs> Can't we have the excitement of watching a vice president suddenly become president and probably not handle the job very well. <laughs> Although I think our current vice president would do all right. Um, <laughs> huh? I mean, how could she do worse than Biden? She seems like she seems like she's awake. She seems like she's not hooked up to an IV and li life support and whatever else they're doing to keep this weekend at Bernie's presidency going. <laughs> <laughs> I like watching speeches going, I don't watch his speeches, what am I saying? It's, they're too boring. I was about to say what I say during Biden speeches, and what I say during Biden speeches is I'm over here watching Family Feud or some shit. I'm not watching Biden speeches. I love it. I love, hang on, sir. We had, a, we had a suggestion right up front. He didn't have to do it too loud because he's close enough to me that I was able to hear him. But he also, I was just going to say, jumped in beautifully in, this, in that silent moment with the next suggestion. <laughs> Very professional. <laughs> uh, it feels to me like you're the ops. You do not suffer from road rage. Are you yell Did you yell out road rage because you don't like it in, when you see it in others? It's so bad in L.A. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like I only rent cars now. I don't own a car because uh, I only drive when, you know, I have like a few days where I have to do some driving kind of shit. And uh, but when I am behind the wheel, I'm a complete fucking menace when it, <laughs> when it comes to honking at people because I, I just don't drive that much. So when you get to do it, you know, it's like it's like when you don't play Mario Kart very often. When you do, you're going to run the other cars off the road. <laughs> You know what I mean? Just because that's a, a, a fun thing to get to do again. I don't understand the whole everybody gets to just drive a car. That seems really... There's too many people. Like, did you... Did you there's a guy here in the audience who yelled out, Treasure! Like, that guy can drive a car. <laughs> the man that yelled that in a room full of people waiting for comedy to happen can drive a motor vehicle, so they'll let anybody do it. <laughs> yeah. uh, one more. Can't be homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I heard camping homeless. 
which, um, you know, doesn't sound like much of either. And... <laughs> You know what I mean? The homeless aren't enjoying the camping activities just because they have a fucking tent out there. <laughs> They're not making s'mores. They're not doing any bird watching. And what was the uh, thing that was yelled out concurrently? You don't have to leave just because your suggestion didn't get used. Holy shit. No, what was it? Porn stashes. So that's those big mustaches that are large enough that are large enough to hide all of your porn in them. <laughs> A porn stash. Thought if I just yelled it at the end, that would like uh, be a nice button to that bit. Porn stash. Um, do you have a porn stash, sir? On your face or under your bed? <laughs> Yes or no? Yes. Yes? You do. A physical porn? No. <laughs> like you have a place where you keep your porn? No, no. Like DVDs? <laughs> okay. See, this is what happens when there's an actual heckler in an actual show of mine, is we just confuse each other <laughs> until it's just all the air is let out of the room. But good luck with all of your uh, various porn endeavors, sir. <laughs> I wish you well. Wait, are you making the next suggestion already? <laughs> now I feel like I'm just playing password. <laughs> sweatshops. Let's see if I can be as clever with sweatshops as I was with porn stash. I like to stash my porn in a sweatshop. Nobody notices it behind all those working children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that one. I have to say. I should have been doing that earlier. I should just combine one, each topic, just take it into the next topic. Maybe when I come back. <laughs> heckling really is, uh, this isn't heckling. I know you've been told to make suggestions, but it really is an art form because if I'm speaking, I'm not going to catch what you said because I'm amplified and uh, that's what I'm hearing, but let's try again. Bad mushroom trip. Also, you got to love, the size of this room does not deserve the hand cup around your face. It's not a big, can you hear me in the back belly room? It's about 10 people deep back there. Can you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot your suggestion. <laughs> Jeremiah, get back up there, buddy. Keep it going for Doug Benson.